couple things don't forget, you can get those edges as you paint. So the top edge, the two sides, if, the, if you want to hit the bottom, uh, lots of paint, lots of water. And remember those streaks will look good. So if you want some areas of contrast, um, just some lighter and darker um, brush strokes next to each other will give you that pop. So basically I start right in the middle of my canvas. Okay, and I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna kind of curve it and go down like this. Okay, and as I go down, you can add a little bit of pressure and build it out. I usually do the roots next, and the roots you wanna think of as horizontal. I always start with the outside, the outside part of the roots and the tops of the branches, and I work in. That's, usually people would naturally do the opposite, but the reason that you don't wanna do that is you tend to add more pressure as you paint. Here is one technique that will help you with that. Um, so this is called flattening the brush. Okay, so I take my paintbrush, I dip it into the blue black, or excuse me, the brown black. I find somewhere that's um, clean on my palette or on the table, and I go one, two, flip the brush over, one, two. Okay, I do that a couple times. One, two, one, two. And that basically like condenses all my, um, the bristles on this brush together. This next Two steps are really similar to each other. That's why I like to teach them at the same time. So the first one is hitting all four of your corners with this like curved circular, it's called a vignette. And it's actually when the edges of your painting are darker and it kind of pulls your eye towards the center. A lot of like filters, if you take a photo and apply a filter, it's that vignette effect, the darker on the corners. So this time, instead of like pre-mixing all of the colors or all the paints, we're gonna let them mix themselves on the canvas. Okay, the leaves are what we're gonna be doing next. Um, we're also gonna be using the purple brush for those. And um, really similar to the corners, we're going to let these colors mix on the canvas. So we're not gonna really pre-mix them, we're gonna let them uh, kind of touch next to each other and then that's going to like create that um, swirl effect with them. Basically the overall shape that we're going for, this is like a cloud shape. Okay, uh, you don't want to cover up all your branches because they look awesome. <laughs> if there's any place that you don't think looks awesome, that's a great place to put a leaf though. Okay, so any of those awkward corners, there's just something that you can't stand. If anyone has any areas where your roots got a little bit weird, just put a leaf right there. 